So now that we have a loot window, we will need to create a few more items so that we can show some different items in the loot window. So let's just do that right away. We do that by creating a new script, and this script is going to be called armor. And this will go for boots and chest and gloves and feet and all those things, right? So we can start creating our armor for uh, equipping it later. So we might as well just create it now. It's going to make it easier for us if we have it already. Let me just resize this window here so you can see all of it. And we don't need to start an update. We don't need a model behavior inheritance. So what do we need? Well, an armor, armory, okay. Let's rename this one. Put F2. Armor. Uh, like that. And let's see, we also have the file somewhere. And items that should also be renamed out here in unity there we go okay sorry about that typo let's get on with it so the first thing we need is to make a a variable for each uh, stat type these armors can have right and i'm just taking some classic stats from uh, general rpg games if you have your own stats then feel free to fill them in or if you have some of these that i'm or if you don't think some of them that i'm entering right now is needed then feel free to skip them I'm just making some uh, some examples so we need intellect and we need some strength and what else would we need we need some stamina so these are the three base stats right besides that we need to uh, identify the ar armor type so let's make an enumeration called armor type and it's named helmet we have shoulders we have chest gloves feet main hand offhand and we have two hand so again this is just a suggestion from our si my side if you have other um, other types or there's some of these types you don't have then f leave them out or add your own so the armor needs an armor type so we can make a private armor type called armor type okay all of the all of these needs to be set from uh, unity so we can just serialize these so copy paste it over here to make sure that all of these are serialized and what else do we have we need to get the description so make a public override string uh, what's it called get description oh i forgot to inherit from item that's why make sure i item of course or armor of course inherit from item i forgot that when i saw the typo so yeah so now we can say public override get description and we need to set it up like so string stats equals string dot empty so first of all when we start the game it has no stats or when we when we create it if our intellect is lighter than zero so on the tooltip we don't want to show the intellect if the item has zero intellect right that it makes no sense to show intellect zero so instead of showing intellect zero we simply check well do we have some intellect if we do then we say stats uh, plus equal string dot format then we need a backslash n to make a new line plus zero here oh let's just make it into a string to make it easier to type intellect intellect so we make a string and we add a new line to it we add the intellect in and write intellect so it will write 30 intellect for example if intellect is 30 like that on the tooltip Okay, um, what else do we have? Let's just copy this and paste it a few times below and replace the intellect with strength. Like so. And down here we can replace it with stamina. There we go. So now this will add on to the tooltip with a new line. Make a new line and write the stat. And of course you can mix these around if you want them to be written in another order. Now I have intellect, strength, stamina. Maybe you want the intellect to be below uh, stamina, for example. 
when this is done we simply return base that get description plus the stats we just created nothing new in this this should be familiar to you because we created the other tooltips earlier uh, what else we need to be able to create this so let's make a um, let's actually just go and copy paste it from back we have back we have the top here copy paste this tag here from the back go to armor and paste it here final name should be armor menu name should be item slash armor and the order should be two that's way easier than writing it all yourself and as you can see right here it says that this is not valid because I'm writing it the wrong place of course I need to write it up here I thought it was already there I was on top of the function so go all the way to the top here and paste it on the top of the class declaration of course I'm um, sorry about that so now we have to generate this let's save jump into unity go to assets create items oh let, let the unity update for a sec there we go I think it updated there assets create items armor I have an armor here and let's call this helmet for example take the helmet and move it into prefabs and move it into items so I'm going to show you how to create one helmet and then I guess you should be able to figure out how to create the rest of the items because it's exactly the same thing just with other stats and other names and, and so on like other uh, what is it called other icons so let's see we have a helmet stack size zero I don't want the helmets to stack it doesn't make sense that I have a stack of helmets title um, awesome helmet and quality let's make this an epic helmet armor type helmet if you had shoulders you would write shoulder of course it has 15 intellect 5 strength and 8 stamina so these stats are just random right now I don't know how they're going to affect the game so I can't balance them out so I'm just going to write some numbers and then later we can balance it so that's my helmet if you want to test if the helmet works you can try to add it to the inventory remember we can do that by opening up the inventory script right there and you can rem if you remember we had some items here this is for debugging as I have written and we are adding the items somewhere in the here so we can actually just add a new function here and say if our key code is on your if statement if we press the I don't know we're running out of <laughs> letters here if I press the O button or the did I already use the H button nope I didn't so if I press the H button um, I think I used for some I don't know if I press that button it's going to create a helmet it's on items 2 I guess yeah index 2 I'm going to cast it into an armor I'm going to do like that and call it armor I'm going to add it to the inventory so if I save this now after I've added this and I go into unity and I select my inventory uh, there it is and I find my items right three here instead and take my helmet and put down here and I remember to save right there and I play the game now and I have my inventory and press the H button then you'll see my helmet has been added okay so there's one problem here my awesome helmet with 15 intellect 5 strength and 8 stamina has no icon so let's see did I forget to put an icon I think I did yeah the icon is set to none so select an icon uh, hit what did I call it do, you, do I even have it here uh, let's see a UI nope I don't have all the items here so I need to find my sprites and here I need to find the character panel and basically I can just take the character panel uh, elements here and just copy them into the sprite folder and let's go to character panel there you see we have the boots and everything and I can just select my uh, where is the prefabs in items helmet and click here now I can write helmet there and choose that one so now when I play the game and I press the H button then we have a helmet now okay so the helmet is shown in the inventory and that's exactly how you can create all of your items 
and um, one more thing I would like to correct is the colors um, the colors on the um, quality of items um, I would like to change a little and I also like to change the way we are accessing the quality uh, because when I created this uh, loot window it I realized that I had to access those colors from multiple places and I had to write in those colors every time I needed to use them because now I need to use an epic color in the loot table because an epic item dropped well then I need to find the color code and use exactly the same color code there so instead of just having to find the color code every time I would like to make some functionality so that all the colors are accessible or the item quality is, is accessible throughout the whole um, whole project so I would use the same color every time I use something for common or epic so instead of, uh, of having to copy paste that color code hex code uh, in everywhere I need it because right now we are just uh, I don't know where we're using it um, we're using inside item let's see here we have some quality types here and here we're using these color codes and we would have to use these color codes again in the loop table so I, I would have to go oh what is epic or oh, it's this one and I will go and copy it and paste it so instead of doing that I would really like to add some extra functionality for just accessing this from one place and we can do that by let's just add it to the items folder add a new script here a new class and let's call it um, quality color and we need to remove the namespace and I would like to make this into a static class Oops, I need to write here static class. And I would like to make it public. There we go. Okay. So first of all, we need a way of accessing these by using the quality. So I can actually take the quality here, cut it, and I just want to paste it in here. So it's all all of this item quality is together in the same script. It doesn't change anything. It just makes it easier for me to. Um, find it again if I need to find it because it's inside the script that has something to do with quality so I'm going to make a private static dictionary with a quality as the key and a string as the value and call it colors I'm going to instantiate that dictionary so in that way I can say colors dot uh, and colors and then feed it common to get the common color or feed it epic to get the epic color and this means that I will need to actually create it like this and I just remove the semicolon here because I need to instantiate it with values and I can do that by making a scope and saying well quality dot common so if I feed this dictionary the common uh, quality it will return a string called um, if all the way because it needs to be white for example like this so it will return the color white I can just take this one and copy and paste it a few times and then we have uncommon then we have uh, rare and in the end we have our epic so common uncommon epic and I'm going to paste in the values here you can just pause the video and write them down if you want to or you can use your own values and these are the oops these are the new colors that I'm using because I wanted to make them a little lighter I feel like the blue for rare was very dark and the epic was very dark and it was hard to see on um, see the contrast between that and the background so I just made them a little lighter and we can just do like this to make it look a little better there we go Okay, so now we have this dictionary, and basically I just I can just right click, quick actions, encapsulate field, and then I can return, remove this set, and just have it get the returned colors, and I can rename this to my colors. There we go. So now I can use my colors instead. And what does this change? Well, it changes that when I go into item, all this quality stuff here. Well, I don't need it. I can just delete this and delete this and instead of writing color here I can write quality color dot my colors and then feed it the color of the item uh, the quality of the item let's see we have this this quality here 
I can just feed it there. Like that. And then it returns the right color code for me. And you'll see if I save this, it should still work out here. If I play my game and I add my helmet, I can still see the awesome helmet color right there. And if I add other things, the back is green and I have a potion, it's white. So the colors still work. Okay, so now I've shown you how to fix the colors or make the colors another way. You don't need to do it, it just makes it easier later when we do that. Um, and I also showed you how to create a helmet or a, an armor item. In the next video, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of extra items. Um, I'm just going to cut to it in, in a second so you can see all the items I created. Um, but I also expect you to create some items. I don't want to show you how to create all the items because it's exactly the same as just creating the helmet. But try to create like three or four items like helmet, shoulders, chest and boots and st stuff like that. Um, of course you can also create items for each slot already because then you don't need to do it later. Uh, but just create three to four items because it makes it easier or more fun for us to generate loot for, from a mob. Instead of dropping the same item we can drop uh, different items. The easiest way to generate new items is by selecting the item you already have, for example helmet, pressing Ctrl plus D, Ctrl and D at the same time so you duplicate it, rename it to whatever you want, let's say this is, a, uh, this is shoulders, shoulders, yeah, shoulders, like that, select them, rename it to um, simple shoulders or something. I'm very bad at finding names, and these are um, uncommon, and it's shoulders. The stats will just punch in some some random numbers like that, and change the icon to something else like the shoulders, of course, right there. And then you can, if you want to, you can test if it works. You don't need to test if it works because it should work. I'll take the shoulders and replace them with the helmet play the game now and press the H button and the shoulders will be spawned instead or added to the inventory. So that's the easy way to do it. So again, I expect you to create like two or four, like three or four items so that we can use them later. So I promised that I would show you the items that I created before I ended this video. I've created four items that I have added to, um, to the inventory so that I can test them. I have a helmet and some shoulders. Um, a sword and a chest. If you want an easy way to spawn them, you can simply just go to the input key that you are spawning an item on, for example H, and just add item and then armor and instantiate items uh, on the indexes that uh, have the um, have the um, armors on them, right? So all these lines here will make sure that I spawn whatever is on the index 2, 3, 4, and 5 and add it to the inventory. And of course I have on the inventory I have on two, three, four, and five, my chest, four, sword, shoulders, and helmet. So these are the items that I created. I hope that you'll create a lot of items and add them as well. Um, of course, you decide how many items you want to create and if you want to create the same. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community found page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.